Hello everyone, this is Munam from and we are back with another demo video on CRM integration for Zoho plugins updated layout and newly added features. So let's start the demo video. So we are on the dashboard of CRM integration for Zoho plugin. So if you want to watch the complete setup connection and how to create feeds and sync data. So we have mentioned the link in the description content for part one of CRF integration for Zoho demo video. So you can watch it from there or we have also added the suggestion card as you can see on the right top corner. So you can click on this suggestion card and watch the part one of CRM integration for Zoho plugin. So in this demo video, I will explain you about the updated layout and newly added features. So let's start with the newly added features. So firstly, let's click on feeds. And now let's click on default contact feed. So uh, when you will scroll down and here you will uh, click on map field. So as you can see that whatever the field value, this this field value is of billing or shipping information. So in this updated uh, plugin, so we have added a new feature that will help you to map the registered user data that will map customer profile information instead of billing and shipping information. So for this, you can create like create custom contact feed to uh, to map registered user data. So let's go back to feeds and let's uh, create new feed and let's name it as. So I have given the new uh, name as custom contact feed. So here you will you have to give uh, select contacts and now here you have to map the fields related to a user uh, profile like uh, you have to map customer information so here you have to uh, like enter the user uh, field value so let's scroll down so as you can see that uh, this is the option of the user so here you have to uh, click on first name and then you have to click on last name from the users list so this is how you have to fill all the uh, fields and custom value of the user instead of shipping and billing information. So if you will not fill out the uh, correct information related to the user data, so the registered user data will not be mapped in this field. So now let's scroll down and let's add the custom value for the user. So as you can see that I have written the user first name and user last name. And let's map the email. So here you as you can see that uh, it's written for billing email, but make sure you have to add for the user. So let's scroll down for the users. So I have mapped with the user billing email and uh, for phone I will do like for uh, user. So let's scroll down. So similarly you can uh, you have to do for all the other fields available like for mobile mailing street other street mailing city other city mailing state and other whatever the fields are. So make sure you uh, you have entered the field value for the users. Uh, to map uh, the fields for the registered user data. So for now, I am deleting this uh, rest of the fields. So this is how you have to map the field value with the user field value instead of shop order field value. Make sure you have mapped with the user field so that uh, you can map, you can uh, fetch the data for the registered users. So let's click on publish. So as you can see that the field has been created as custom contact field. Now when you have created the custom contact field and you have mapped the field with uh, the user uh, user field value. So now you have to decide the event. So and the primary field also. So let's click on edit. And let's scroll down and let's select the primary field as email. And let's select the event. So in this we have uh, introduced a new event like a WP user updated or created. So whenever uh, the new user is updated or created, so this field will be triggered. For now I have selected the primary field as email. So if you want to select like last name or if you want to select the first name, so you can easily do it. Now let's click on update. And let's go back to the feeds. And let's select default contact feeds. And here you have to like in this particular field like guest or registered users tab. So here you have to click on this 
and here you have to specify like like for registered user data for mapping registered users we have created uh, the feed uh, feed as uh, custom contact feed now for uh, syncing the guest user only so you have to click on this tick box so this field will be used to sync guest user contact data next you have to select the field for registered user syncing so here you i have decided like custom contact field that we have created so this is how you can easily uh, map the uh, registered user data and as well as guest user data so now let's click on update and let's again go back to the feeds so as you can see that how easily you can create the custom contact feed to sync the uh, user information of the registered user data and in this uh, contact feed the guest user data will be stored or the guest user data will be synced so this is how you can easily create the custom contact feed so whenever the new user will be registered be it be a woocommerce customer or not then data will be synced in this uh, particular custom uh, custom contact feed for the registered users and uh, you can also perform like uh, bulk sync and manual sync so from here you uh, you can perform the bulk sync or manual sync so as you can see that the option is coming for uh, like uh, uh, let's click on contact and uh, let's select the feed as custom contact feed and here you can start the sync so as you can see that uh, the contact has been synced and let's go to log so we are on the log tab so here you can see the sync log and let's scroll down and as you can see that the custom contact feed has been created so this is how you can easily map the registered user data and all, as well as the guest user data so in this uh, custom contact feed i have decided to uh, map the uh, registered user data so this is how you can easily map the registered user data so let's again go back to the feeds so now let's go to product feed and let's click on edit and let's scroll down so if you want to do the tag setup to make your product taxable so simply you can enable this option from here and you can select the tax rate so for creating the new tax rate uh, you have to go to your zoho crm and select from there so uh, let's go to the uh, crm so from here you have to click on settings and you have to click on modules and fields and here you have to click on products and here you have to click on standard and here when you will scroll down so you will uh, see this price information tab and from here you have to click on tax and you, you have to click on customize tax rate so from here you, uh, you can decide the sales tax and VAT let me click on this like 10 and 12 and let's click on save so as you can see that the uh, disclaimer has come tax rates updated successfully so let's again go back to the feed section so this is how you can easily do the tax setup so now let's again go back to the feeds and now let's go to default sales order feed and let's click on edit here on the default sales order feed so in this uh, uh, plugin a new feature has been added so if you will scroll down so as you can see that you can add shipping as line item and here in this shipping product you have to uh, click on create product as i have uh, created already created the product so simply uh, when you have not created any shipping product so the option will come as create product and you can click on that so uh, then it will come as created and then you have you can also decide the shipping amount like order shipping total or you can decide the order shipping total plus shipping tax so uh, like uh, when you have enabled this so you have to click on update and let's go to shop page so we are on the shop page and let's place any order and let's view the cart so as you can see that uh, the two products i have added and let's proceed to check out and let's place the order so the order has been received now let's again go back to the feed section and uh, let's go back to the dashboard and if you in the settings if you have not enabled the instant sync instant sync so the data will not be uh, sent uh, to the feed event so you have to do the manual syncing so let's go to the orders and let's click on this order and here you have to sync the uh, zoho feeds manually so firstly you have to do default contact feed and then deal feeds then sales order feed and let's uh, go to the uh, zoho crm and let's firstly check the order id so order is uh, 208 let's refresh this 
so as you can see that this is the order so now let's scroll down so as you can see that here the order item it is showing three products so the two products these uh, two we have ordered and uh, zoho crm has added one more product as a shipping who shipping item so whenever you have uh, enabled uh, to add shipping as a line item so it creates a product and add shipping as a line item so let's again go back to the feeds so now we have also added a new field like when you will click on uh, default product feed and click on edit so here when you will click on add new field so a new field has been added for the product category so as you can see that uh, product category field has been added so these were some of the features that have been added in this crm integration for zoho plugin now let's go to settings tab so some new functionalities have been added like enable background sync and wipe data on disconnect so by enabling the background sync so it will let uh, the sync data automatically in every 5 minutes so uh, in every 5 minutes uh, the uh, the data will be synced automatically and if you want to wipe the data on disconnect so it will delete the sync history whenever you are disconnecting the account so these were some of the newly added features in crm integration for zoho plugin so if you want to watch the complete setup or uh, complete demo video on crm integration for zoho plugin so you can watch the part one of crm integration for zoho demo video and for newly added features uh, this is the video so you can watch for newly added feature and updated layout so this was all about the demo video on CRM integration for Zoho plugins updated layout and newly added features. So for part one of the demo video we have mentioned in the description content. So you can click on the link and watch the part one and we have also added the suggestion card. So you can click on the suggestion card and watch the part one of the demo video and uh, all the related resources of the links of CRM integration for Zoho plugin has been added in the description content so you can check out from the description content. So if you have any queries regarding the plugin functionality so you can mention your queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you. And if you are new to our channel make sure to subscribe to our channel and like and share the video until the next video stay connected with us thank you.